Every single school in this community is unique. When you can really celebrate their differences and their identity, that gives our whole community a lot of, of potential. I think what it did with the staff was it really created ownership. Mm. Oh yeah. They wanted to be heard. They knew what the, the students were about and they wanted to make sure that that was carried through to the new school. We had big chart paper and we had to kind of like come up with like what we saw as like what our school stood for and so we had brainstorming, we had words that we came up with. It was really awesome to just have someone stand up and say, hey, this is what I'm hearing, let's make it concise, let's use the word promise. We ended up with um, building promise and potential in the heart of our community. I'm glad that we opted into something that's a little bit more abstract. Being that they had, it was their ideas that went into these words, but having it one, one line long and very practical and meaningful, it's only going to, only can continue and be more meaningful in years to come. A lot of people look at it as just kind of a design or aesthetic thing, like a branding issue. And that's really not what it's all about. What a learning signature is at its core is striving for an alignment between the educational program, the community values, and the architecture that supports that. All right. All right. Thanks, Scott. It's always nice to have access to the principal and, you know, after this is all done, to be here to have them talk about their school, it's really mm -hmm. great. And it seems to me that this, this particular school has received a lot of results. The school is a group of people and a set of ideas and a trajectory in terms of learning and education as much as it's a building. We're trying to understand who they are. The learning signature for us is palpable leverage for design. The idea of small, intimate learning spaces, because there's different types of learners too, right? Makes our process richer and the results better and more connected. Oh my goodness, in this building, we're talking about promise and potential. Light just comes in everywhere. You can see how it affects everyone that comes into our building. When designing schools, just being creative with your building design. And it's like, oh wow, I feel like I'm, I'm creative too. I feel like I'm different because this place is different. They already know who they are. We're just trying to help them understand how to capture that in words and images. Parents walk in and they go, wow, my school wasn't like this. They know it's special, they know it's nice. How are they going to evolve their school with this opportunity of a new or renovated building? I think some of the things we would have went for, you know, increasing reading, writing, and math for students in the Mount Sea Valley, I don't know how all that would have worked out. But building promise and potential, and then building a building that invites light in and pushes light out. Sometimes just a good setting is enough to persuade them to do better. It's like that idea of a heart with, you know, the veins pumping. You get to see it in action. You see these kids heading where they need to be heading. You see that purposefulness in their stride. You see adults doing the same thing. Pretty amazing. There is really a common sense. Everybody understands what this school's about, what their promise is to the community, and how that promise is, is delivered. That's part of the importance of why we're doing this. And it's, it's a lot of fun. If I just had to design buildings, it'd be really boring. We get it, we know how to do it, but I'd rather be way more engaged inside of what design thinking means.